Ooh wee beast, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. I got bloodborne a couple days ago. And damn. Damn. Okay. I, I keep feeling like uh something's messed up here. I don't know. Forgive me. But uh anyway, I I went out and I got bloodborne. I played it. Friend Chase was sitting over there. Well, he's actually laying. My man Jake sitting on my left. Got through. I got to the cleric beast, and a beast he was. He beat my ass. Beat my ass. Now, now I'm in a position where I don't know what to do. I, I stopped right then. I haven't played any since, but. Uh, God damn. That game, it's interesting. I, I really like it. Uh, I like the looks, you know, when you started that ladder at the beginning, you know, you start to climb up and then you hear that sc screaming stuff. You know, I said, oh, you know, fuck no. That's a <laughs> ain't going that way. But uh, unfortunately, that's that's the way that you have to go, as it turns out. Uh, very linear game. Uh, more linear than what I assumed it was. As well, I mean, especially at the beginning there. Uh, you, know, at the, you wake up in that clinic and that dog fucks you up. And, uh, you know, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Uh, then I died to the... Uh, they got that bonfire, right? Then they have all of them around. Well, I started to go around them, right? There was that guy. Is it one fucking dude with the uh, with the uh, torch up there? He got me. Uh, well, he didn't get me. I actually killed that guy, but the, he alerted the people at the bonfire. I guess it was I was too close to him or something. Then they came up the stairs, and I got and I got sort of cluster fucked on the uh, on the stairs that you couldn't get away from. But basically, they got me into a corner, and I couldn't get out, and, and that that fucked me up. Uh, it's a fun game, you know. I, I I say fun, I say fun. It's a punishing game. It's an outrageously punishing game. The dude at the the Walmart where I bought it, he said, "Man, this is hard. This is hard." I thought, you know, I said, I play Dark Souls, and uh, I relied on the shields too much in that game, man. And I and I got absolutely fucking wrecked in this Bloodborne. Is that my man? I got this. I went home, started to play it, and it, and it became quite evident toward, uh, to me that, that I did not have it. But anyway, anyway, I digress. I saw a chair that I, uh, the main reason, which I probably should have said uh, originally, is I plan on if I can uh, get some uh, technical difficulties sorted out, I plan on uh, maybe recording. Uh, once I practice a little bit more, you know, uh, just, I, I mean, because I'll never be good at the, these kind of games, you know. I, I might be able to struggle my way to the end, but I don't think I, I'd ever uh, be adept at it, at it in any in any way, shape, or form. But I plan on doing a Let's Fail series, uh, preferably maybe... Uh, Next time that me and Jake get together, he expressed it, you know, he'd like to participate in such a series, and I think it'd be a good idea as well. Uh, furthermore, furthermore, uh, Army of Two, Devil's Cartel, expect it. We're going to sit down and uh, get to it one of these days. That's it. Been playing, been playing through StarCraft 2 again here recently. Uh, Wings of Liberty. Uh, haven't beat the campaign yet. About to, and then I'm gonna go through Heart of the Swarm again. Looking forward to that Legacy of the Void, man. Legacy of the Void. Protoss are such beasts, man. That Artanis guy, he's such a. I, I wasn't really. I, I always liked uh, Jim and 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 Kerrigan, but. Oh my goodness.
that Artanis dude, I didn't even know about him. I didn't play the original StarCraft, so I wasn't aware of him. He didn't make that much of an appearance in, in StarCraft Two at all, except that one mission in which, uh, you know, he, he delivers a bit of a heartfelt speech and then dies. Spoiler. Uh, but it's it's like a vision of the future or some shit that's one of the possible future type deals. Oh, anyway, that guy, I, I read about him on the wiki, uh, and that guy, he's a fucking beast. He's a beast. I look forward to playing as him. Plus, the, the campaign just sounds really fun, the whole dynamic of it. And, you know, you, you got to... I, I played a game like that before where, you know, you had to choose between two sides. And then, you know, you you had to choose between two sides several times. And, you know, one of the two would join you. So... I can't I can't remember the game though. I do remember playing something like that at some point. Uh that's an it's, it's a dynamic that interests me. It's a cool concept, I thought. Uh and it makes for excellent uh replay potential or is it value? I don't know. Which one, whichever of those two words fits more. I, I I guess it'd be potential, but that's it. That's it. See you on the next one.